In this video, I will share with you what abundance means in feng shui and three simple ways you can create more of it in your life starting today. Susan Chan here, feng shui realtor based in New York City. We usually relate abundance to the tangible things like money, homes, cars, and other stuff, but I want to remind you that it's so much more. We must remember that abundance is a feeling, it's a vibration, it's an energy, and it's related to gratitude. Unless you're able to be grateful for what you already have, you won't be able to have more. It's really that simple. If you're constantly griping about what you hate, what you don't have, it's going to be hard to see beyond that. And nobody wants to be around that. Definitely not opportunities and more abundance. In my line of work, if you focus on the positive, more will come in. If you want a bigger home, for example, love the home you're already in. Make it the best possible home while taking actions to visualize and find your next home. And I can help you do that. That's how it works, folks. You need to feel it, see it, smell it to have it. Now here are three simple things you can do right now to change the energy of abundance so it'll be more present in your life. First thing, gratitude. Always be grateful, say it, see it. A grateful person is an abundant person. In my morning rituals, I always list out 10 things I'm grateful for. It's a great way to start my day. When you're grateful and you feel it in every cell of your body, it just attracts more abundance. Try it today, I dare you. Now, the second thing to increase your abundance today is to use visualization. Put up something in your home that signals abundance. Did you splurge on a vacation pre-COVID and have great photos? Hang them up, remind yourself that you have the power to do that again one day. You can also play something of value, like an expensive personal object in your line of view to remind yourself that you're abundant. I'm not kidding, really, it works. Now, do you want to know the best place to put these things according to feng shui? Imagine the door of the room you're in. When you walk in, the abundance area is straight ahead to the top left-hand corner of the room from the door. You can place your reminders of abundance in that corner. Now, the third thing you can do to feel and be abundant is to give. You know that feeling when you help somebody without expecting anything in return, or you donate to a charity? It feels really good, right? Generosity of spirit or the tithing of actual money will give you back a million fold. What comes around goes around. Rebel against scarcity mentality, build an abundant mentality. This holiday season, if you remember to be grateful, visualize what you want and give unconditionally, there is no way you won't be able to be and feel abundant. Now tune in next week for more feng shui real estate tips. And remember, feng shui is not a luxury, but a necessity. Did you like this video? Please subscribe or leave a comment below and see you next week.